I'm at the fringes of the Jaipur Literature Festival and uh, we'll a battery of fine speakers. I'm very pleased to welcome uh, Mr. Ajaypal Lamba, a member of the Indian Police Service, IPS Rajasthan Kader. And uh, he's a gentleman who's the current additional commissioner of police in Jaipur. But as DCP of Jodhpur, he supervised the investigation leading to the arrest of the infamous uh, Asaram Bapu. And uh, today he's the author of the best-selling book, Gunning for the Godman. Hi, good to see you, sir. I hope your family and you are safe uh, in this pandemic and everybody is healthy. Perfectly fine, Roach, and hope you are good at your with your family and all your well-wishers. Thank you very much, Mr. Lama. Mr. Lama, you're going to be in a very interesting conversation called Khaki Files, the Badge of Honor. And you're going to be speaking with Neeraj Kumar, Amod Kanji, and you're going to be in conversation with Meena Bagel. You must be looking forward to that. Uh, sure, sure. The, the theme says it all, Khaki Files. Yeah, I am very excited to... Uh, I am waiting for that exciting event. Also. Lovely. Let's come to your book, uh, Gunning for the Godman. A lot has been written about it. A lot has been said about it. But uh, this true story behind Asaram Bapu's conviction actually started from Delhi uh, when you got a phone call uh, to Jodhpur. Would you just tell us about uh, how how it all started? Actually, it was the uh, rest moment when I received a call from the Deputy Commissioner of Police uh, from Delhi. I hardly got a call from Delhi in my career till that particular moment. And when he said that a minor has been uh, molested by the uh, so-called Godman Asaram Bapu, it was a, a really shocking uh, news for me because uh, I, I, by that time I was knowing a lot about Asaram Bapu and about his followers and the way uh, he was propagating whatever uh, sermons he was giving to the people. I was knowing that he was a big man. So it was surprising and shocking for me. So also, it's not an easy case to take up, a high-profile case. I'm sure the investing, investigating officer, uh, la even lady police officers who were called on to the case were given death threats. I'm sure you and your family were also under the radar because you're dealing with all these anti-national elements, criminals and gundas. So it must have been a very big challenge for the police force through uh, the entire uh, case. Actually, police job in itself is very challenging. Every day we feel and we receive uh, such threats and uh, threat calls. And um, so many goons are behind and these um, police persons who are working on these high profile cases. This was no different. And this, this uh, Asaram Baku case was uh, very challenging for the whole of the Jodhpur police because most of the police personnel who were associated with this case were given the threats, were given so many, uh, and, uh, I would say, inducements, and uh, so many pressures were there. And given the circumstances that we were giving inducements, uh, threats, and those the whole type of pressures, we were able to uh, crack this case. It was a tough time for those people. Also, witnesses, a witness disappeared. Uh, you know, a few of them had uh, threats to their life. They were attacked, assaulted. Even from that aspect, it must have been very difficult for the police to actually take care of the witnesses who were testifying in court. Yes, very true. Because uh, so many witnesses were attacked. Few of them have been killed. Few of them have been permanently disabled for their life. So it was really tough uh, to, to uh, get those witnesses for the testimony in the court. Uh, it was more so uh, when we were getting threats uh, and the news of getting threats was uh, broke out to the media and everyone, every witness was knowing that even police officers have been threatened by the followers of Asaram. And then when police officers were threatened, then what to uh, thought of uh, the witnesses who were not having any sort of uh, security cover with them. So it was really tough uh, to convince those uh, witnesses. It was really tough to take those witnesses to the uh, court, uh, especially the trial court. Even the uh, advocates who were arguing for this case uh, on behalf of the government or on 
behalf of the victim they have also been threatened their family have been threatened but in the end uh, justice prevailed yeah and full marks to you and your team but luckily one of your lady police officers one of the investigating officers was uh, provided i think a very high level of security with commandos around her um you know the honorable yeah. court passed that judgment yeah yeah well, even before the judgment uh, when she was uh, testifying in the court uh, one of the witnesses have been attacked in amdavad he was killed and when his uh, perpetrators of this crime have been arrested by gujarat police it was revealed during the uh, investigation of uh, those criminals uh, it was found out that they were uh, conspiring to uh, bump off uh, uh, this lady police officer who was the investigating officer of this case uh, ms chanchal mishra and uh, because of uh, the input we received from gujarat police uh, the lady officer have been given the security cover round the clock uh, with the, all the uh, trained commandos and that was the need of our also you know i know it was a team effort you were helming your resources but to build a water tight case is not very easy to do you had high profile lawyers against you sir i mean uh, you're talking about a public prosecutor from your end but you know the ram jethmalani is and you know all the the big uh, high profile lawyers from all over the country representing uh, asaram bapu uh, was that intimidating how did you go about building a water tight case yes it was uh, very tough to um, counter these legal luminaries who, who were the best in the country uh, when we registered the fir uh, from the very initiation of the registration of the fir what we did was we engaged the um, our public prosecutor in at the time of uh, investigation itself from the beginning of investigation we engaged uh, our public prosecutor with us and because of the feedback given by him because of the experience which uh, few of our police officers were having for last 30 years we incorporated those and when we were investigating the case when we were building up our case when we were writing the case diaries we ensured that my new my new details have been discussed openly and more so uh, when we were discussing this case uh, we were getting the feedback from everyone in the team and we were incorporating and we were improvising upon the feedback which we received from the team members from our public prosecutor and that was the key reason uh, we were able to make this a watertight case mr lamba i want to laud and applaud Uh, and doff my heart to you and your team because this has sent out a very strong message to all those godmen who are trying to exploit ladies in particular minors one of the minors spoke up you know her parents came complained the case went from delhi to jodhpur you were able to uh, crack this particular case were there other minors who didn't speak up uh, because they were afraid uh, how is it that uh, you know we had only one person were you able not to get other evidence or did they just not want to speak up because of the fear yes what you are saying uh, may be right uh, because when this case was registered and when we arrested asaram bapu we get few phone calls from those minors who, who have been there in, in that particular group where this uh, child was uh, and doing her studies but unfortunately when we approached those uh, Uh, minors at their uh, hometowns we were surprised to know that uh, when our team reached there we found asaram supporters uh, who, who were there in those houses and family members were not allowed to um, come in contact with the police uh, so that was very unfortunate these these uh, instances shows that there must be there must have been some cases but uh, to be very fair we don't have any evidence for that but even a post arrest it wouldn't have been very very easy you would have to tackle a lot because here was a man with his entourage masses of supporters putting pressure from all directions uh, you know on local police stations on uh, the law and order situation 
so the post you've actually titled one of the chapters that the post arrest perils you know uh, uh, talk us through that uh, uh, post arrest perils were real perils because it was really tough uh, to handle the supporters who were uh, coming all round uh, from all corners of the city all corners of the state and the country jodhpur was a small town to handle such a crowd uh, so many supporters uh, were there and the main problem was that these supporters were the fanatic supporters uh, they were uh, in complete faith of asaram and they were uh, completely convinced that um, something injustice has happened to their godmen so they were going to all extent to take um, i would say revenge and they they were all hell bound to uh, damage public property they were hell bound to damage uh, those police officers who were associated with this case and when we arrested him uh, almost in every part of the country uh, violence erupted and uh, public property uh, got damaged uh, from east to west north to south in whole country but fortunately we were able to control this violence in jodhpur and that was only because we were prepared for it i think most of the country was not prepared for that and that's why a few instances of violence has happened throughout country but in jodhpur uh, police was well prepared and we we could anticipate what could happen so we uh, prepared according to uh, the proper drill which we Uh, follow during these uh, mass protests and we were able to control the uh, i would say the anger of uh, supporters uh, what we did was uh, we earmarked a big asaram papus uh, his own um, i would say uh, uh, the 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 place where he used to give sermons in the jodhpur city it was at the outskirts of the city uh, so the supporters who were coming there we uh, took those supporters to that uh, farmhouse uh, i would say and uh, many uh, supporters who were there from jodhpur they have been convinced that uh, jodhpur police will do the justice so they were uh, siding us and we um, Uh, took these uh, jodhpur uh, supporters in the front and they were able to convince these uh, supporters who were coming from the major parts of the country and that's how we were able to contain those uh, supporters in a confined area and once they are confined we were able to videograph them we were able to identify them we were able to take their identity and once they have been identified they were not able to do any uh, sort of nonsense in the city and then we were able to manage huge uh, transport uh, um, arrangements for them we managed so many buses for them and we identified those uh, supporters from where they are and we dispatched them to their destinations from where they were coming wonderful uh, real life nugget there i want to understand the mind of a criminal i know as police officers doing your duty you're not allowed to be emotional you're supposed to be completely rational and be in the center but the fact that Uh, here was a a man a criminal at the end of the day who swayed millions of people by his religious and spiritual ideology what do you make of asaram bapu uh, during all the time you were investigating this case definitely a shrewd mind yes he was a definitely a shrewd mind and moreover he was a person who has never seen a common condition or i would say he was living the life of a king he was living a luxurious life he uh, never uh, been uh, bereft of these luxuries in his life whenever he was there he was always welcomed with a red carpet uh, when we uh, took him to our interrogation center and uh, just be uh, removed those luxuries and that was a real surprise for us that when he was bereft of those uh, supporters around him when he was bereft of those luxuries and when he was asked to sit on the floor which he 
never uh, before this episode he immediately broke down he started weeping and he said that yes uh, something wrong has been done by him and at that time i found him that he was uh, in some sort of guilt consciousness and um, he was feeling sorry for his conduct and then we asked him to narrate the incident to recreate the incident and when he narrated the incident that the incident was completely matching with the version which we received from the victim uh, so uh, i would say that uh, we uh, do so many cases every day we crack so many cases we sometimes we uh, interrogate very hard for criminals uh, but this case was uh, uh, in my view that uh, this case was very different from those cases because hardly to break this criminal uh, we we were not uh, ha having a tough uh, instances by this criminal because uh, only the, uh, the removal of those luxuries and uh, bereafting him from his supporters and confining him in an isolated place we were able to uh, break down this criminal that was all. Mr. Lamba, when there are brave police officers like you and your teams, the Bollywood guys always come calling. We know that uh, the director Prakash Jha along with Bobby Diol has made a series called Ashram ostensibly on uh, the Asaram Bapu case. Now there is talks of you know your book being converted into a major motion picture. Uh, have the Bollywood guys come calling, phoned you, come and met you, taken narrations uh, and tried to convince you for, uh, for doing a movie deal? <laughs> A yeah, few of them are approaching and uh, it is uh, in the final stage. Uh, we will see a movie on this book very soon. That's wonderful. Uh, what was the most challenging part of writing the book? Now, I'm just going to come to you as a writer. Uh, guys, Ajay Lamba IPS has written this with Sanjeev Mathur, Gunning for the Godman, the true story behind Asaram Bapu's conviction. It's a remarkable book. I highly advocate you go and get a copy for yourself. So uh, uh, let's talk about Ajay Lamba, the writer. What What is most difficult in, in putting all this Actually, down? I mean, the, you, you relived the, all this. Yes. The very idea of writing the book was very difficult because I never wrote any book before it. And uh, to be very frank, I'm not a good writer. Uh, I write all those uh, examination questions of those textbooks, but I hardly <laughs> wrote anything uh, other than those uh, examination papers. So it was a very tough and the idea itself was tough because uh, I never did it. But uh, the whole credit goes to my co-author Sanjeev Mathur who convinced me uh, to um, write this book because uh, he's my family friend. Uh, we knew each other through, uh, for the last few years. So when he convinced me uh, to write this book and he uh, suggested me that uh, he uh, convinced me to write in my own words, whatever uh, words I can use. Uh, he asked me to write in the words which uh, I, uh, we used in our FIR, in our chart sheet and those trial words. And he promised me to edit it uh, in the format which uh, the, uh, generally the reader wishes to read. And so uh, we both worked together as a team and uh, he complimented me uh, wherever I was uh, found wanting for the words and for the sentences and for the continuity of the language, uh, which is the basic need for a book. You want to hear Mr. Jepal Lamba uh, at 11 a.m. on the 28th at the Jaipur Literature Festival. Uh, it's streaming online. Also, Neeraj Kumar, Amod Khan, and Jepal Lamba in conversation with Nina Bainal Bagel. And the theme is Khaki Files, the Badge of Honor. Let's uh, sign off with a light question. Who is the hero you'd like to see play Jepal Lamba? <laughs> is your wife or you a fan of a particular actor <laughs> that you would like to see? I, him I, am, as, I <laughs> am a fan of uh, Ajay Devgan. Uh, yeah. He is my uh, favorite uh, hero. Uh, and uh, many movies on police officers uh, he did. And he did a wonderful job. Wonderful. Have a great day, sir. Thank you for speaking to me. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. And Thank uh, you I hope so your family much. and you are healthy. Thank Cheers. you so much for your time. And uh, I'm sorry for... Uh, keeping you waiting for initial few minutes because of this technical glitches. Thank you so much and have a good day. Boss. No problem. Take care, sir.